Tapeworms attach to the intestines of their host using a scolex, which has suction cups and may include hooks at its anterior end. Distal to the scolex is a short region known as a neck, after which form a series of proglottids. These are complete hermaphroditic units, which form a pair of ovaries and multiple testes. They possess excretory ducts, running along their lateral sides, and nerve cords running along their lateral sides. They do not contain digestive structures, given that all nutrients are absorbed through the tapeworm's skin from the food in the intestine of the host. Most tapeworms cannot fertilize themselves. Sperm enter the genital pore and fertilize ova, and embryos form in the uterus. As the proglottids move towards the distal terminus of the tapeworm, the proglottid is largely a sac containing embryos in branches of the uterus. Proglottids may rupture, releasing the eggs, or the entire proglottid may be shed, and the eggs are released when the proglottid subsequently breaks. Each tapeworm has its own life cycle that may involve intermediate hosts. For example, in the case of the beef tapeworm, the eggs or proglottids from human feces can then be taken into cattle after they feed on contaminated vegetation. The tapeworm larvae travel from the intestines of the cattle and burrow into muscle tissue. And if humans consume infected beef, which has been undercooked, then the tapeworm larvae can then attach in the human intestines and then complete their life cycles. It is estimated that about 1% of cattle in the United States are contaminated with tapeworms.